What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Nursing Specialties Explained. Today, we're going to be talking about flight nursing. And one of the things about flight nursing is it's going to be very uh, interconnected with ICU nursing and ER nursing or trauma nursing. Now, uh, before I get into that, but let's talk about about this about this nursing specialty episode. I'm going to try to cover every single nursing specialty. Uh, it's going to be in this playlist. The playlist is called Nursing Specialties Explained. So if any of you guys need to go back and watch any of these uh, specialties playlists as I get done, you know, in a month from now, um, we'll have a whole library of nothing but nursing specialties that you guys can look and, and kind of help you make a decision if you're trying to decide on what nursing specialty you want to get into. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the flight nursing. So the very first thing with flight nursing is it's a, it's a really specialized specialty, meaning that you already have to have at least three to five years experience in either ICU or ER or both. And, you know, it's, it's been in my, it seems to be the majority of flight nurses that I run into um, happen to be e ICU uh, nurses. Now, <clears throat> that doesn't mean that ER nurses, that plenty of ER nurses become flight nurses as well because they work you know, kind of, uh, I've been to places where they work together. When I was in Elko, Nevada, they had, uh, where, where nurses would actually work in the ER. And then as, as, as something would happen or a, a trauma patient would come in, they would, they would switch roles from their shift in the, in, in the ER to automatically working in the, uh, as a flight nurse. So there, there's that option as well. And you know, these flight nursing, it takes a lot of training, years and years of practice to become a flight nurse. But, you know, I know a lot of people who are interested in flight nursing. I was actually interested in flight nursing. You know, me as a pilot, uh, some the guys that you guys that know that, that follow me know that I'm a pilot that, you know, I love to fly. However, um, it is a highly, highly skillful position to be a flight nurse because it requires not just you have to you have to think about all these other things. Are, are you going to be a fixed wing flight nurse? You're going to be on a helicopter. There's, there are differences with that because when you get to alt altitude, oxygen saturation levels changes. The body does different things at higher altitudes. So you need to know that what the proper, uh, you know, vital signs are for at certain altitudes and things like that. And see, even me to an extent, I don't know enough about that to really go into detail on that. However, I do know it's a highly specialized field. It's a like years and years of practice. And, and the other thing that you got to remember is that you have to be able to work autonomously. You have to be the person in charge because the majority of the time there is no physician on that board, on that plane. And that means that's left up to you to do the, uh, to, to take care of the patient. So there's that, that aspect as well. So guys, let's talk about the personality types. And again, going into the personality types, you know, everyone likes to think automatically that flight nurses are some type of adrenaline junkies and to a point they're right. Um, however, you know, there's a lot more that goes into that. It's like calling an ER person a, an, an adrenaline junkie. I kind of, I kind of resent it in a way because we're way, way smarter than that. And in ICU nurses, all of us, nurses in general, are way smarter than the general public gives us credit for because it's an extremely hard job, uh, extremely taxing mentally and physically. And the same thing can be said about flight nurses. You know, even nurses automatically, they, they must be crazy. They're adrenaline junkies. Well, I mean, yeah, they probably like the excitement, but they're they're also highly skilled and highly trained individuals. And you don't get that by being some like just straight up adrenaline junkie. It takes years of study and years of practice. So, you know, keep that in the back of your mind as you're uh, if, if you're thinking about this career field that, you know, yeah, you want to be somewhat of an adrenaline junkie. However, you also want to be smart. You want to be uh, methodical. You want to be you want to have everything that, you know, all your T's crossed and all your I's dotted, if you know, if you get what I'm saying. And depending on the flight nursing job that you get, you may also be uh, like when I was in Elka, Nevada, they had uh, nurses that were actually in the ER working right beside me. And then the trauma would come in and then they would suit up, get ready and go out on a flight. Other nurses are straight flight nurses where that's all they do. So there are these kind of mixed roles of flight nurses. Um, it just depends on the hospital you're at. It depends on the, uh, you know, on the crew and on the, uh, I guess, just the facility mainly. So uh, keep that in mind, you know, keep that in mind that, you know, the roles may kind of blend together like they did in Elko. And the duties of those people in Elko may be something completely different than the duties of a, a, of a flight nurse that's a full-time flight nurse doing aircraft checks, weight and balance. That's probably the biggest thing. Uh, next to uh, 
next to just knowing about vital signs at certain altitudes is, is just weight and balance of the airplane, knowing all, all of that, because that that really, really affects the uh, uh, how a flight is going to go is weight and balance. So there's that aspect of it. Your math has to be pretty good when you're getting these calculations. So there's, there's that aspect um, of it as well. And overall, if I had to say, what does a flight nurse really the job entail? It can kind of be like being on uh, being either your ER or ICU, except in an extremely, extremely small space. And you don't have that, that area to run around and you don't have everything at your, at, you know, all the resources at your fingertips. You do have a lot. However, if I had to say anything about flight nursing, that would be what it was. It's, it's like ER and ICU in a, in a space of about five feet and you don't have much area to work. So, uh, so yeah, so guys, I would look into it. I would look into you know, if you're interested in it, I would look into the different uh, the different types of flight nurses, the different aircraft that you may be flying on, and start go ahead and make contacts with people. If say if you you're working in the ER now, you know maybe you have a year or two experience, go ahead and start making those connections now. So later on down in your career, you can roll into that flight nurse and start and start finding out, talking to people because you have to get registered, you have to be I think certified flight registered nurse maybe or something like that but anyways it's something good to really think about as you're as you're going through your career and working for that end goal to be a flight nurse all right guys that is it sorry i ran through this i just got done working out. i'm a little tired and a little winded so uh sorry if this video didn't flow as well but i think it's some good really really good information about flight nursing and hopefully it'll help you kind of break it down and uh, give you an idea uh, of what to expect all right guys peace out